Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Mojo Triceratops. Alright, so this is kind of exciting. First ever Mojo figure on the channel. Ever. My history of five years on YouTube, I've never covered anything from Mojo. And this is a first. And what a way to start. I think we're starting at the very, very top as far as Mojo figures go for their prehistoric animals. This Triceratops was released last year in 2019, and I'm really sad I didn't get it as soon as it came out because this is a really underrated figure in my opinion. I know there's people out there who appreciate it, but as far as Ceratopsian figures go, it is really underrated. This is a absolutely gorgeous representation of Triceratops horridus in figure form. Detailing is on point, I mean, just look at the head there. That is Triceratops. Let's actually start with taking a look at the head, because why not? That's Triceratops. That's all I can say is that that is Triceratops. Beautiful detailing. I mean, you can see what I'm talking about. Love the scalation, the different sizes of scales throughout the, the sculpt, of course. The black glossy eye is a great choice. The dry brushing is great on this figure, especially on the horns. I like the lighter gray color against the horns. The interior of the mouth is a very bright reddish pink color. It's almost a little too saturated. And speaking of saturation, I think I did like the stock images. I need to look at the stock images again. But I think I like the stock images a little bit more color wise. Because this is just basically the same colors as in the promotional images, except it's way more saturated in person. Like, it looks like someone took the saturation tool in Photoshop and just went over it a bunch of times before producing this figure. It still looks good, don't get me wrong. I like the colors with the bright, like, Spanish, orange, tannish color on the face there and the, the brighter peachy tans going down the body. But I don't know. They just feel kind of a little too saturated. Maybe it's also the dry brushing of the black going down the back. It's just, it's a very bold figure color-wise. Anyways, back to the head quickly here. I love how the sort of airbrush black color borders the frill, really brings attention to the frill. I like the brighter Spanish orangish color popping out in between that framing with the airbrushing. And one of my absolute favorite parts of this figure is the slight upturn to the horns on the top. Now this is speculative as it is thought that Triceratops had keratinous sheaths covering its horns and it's very possible that those sheaths ended in a upturn to the horns. And I think that's awesome that this is one of the only, and maybe it is the only, Triceratops figure to exhibit the upturned horns on the face, which I think is really cool. As far as detailing on the rest of the body goes, it is great. You have those larger protruding scales going down the back of the body there. The tail is also a pretty appropriate length. It has a nice little curve to it. Maybe that's a little bit too much of a bend going in the tail there, but it's not too bad. Now the one big inaccuracy with this figure that I found relates to the front feet, and it's more prominent on this foot, actually. It has the correct number of toes on the back feet and the front feet, except not all of the front toes on Ceratopsian feet were clawed, and you can see that they are clawed and painted. It's more prominent on this foot, especially. These two toes towards the left should not be clawed, only the front three that are facing inwards on each foot. So that's really the only big inaccuracy that I see with this figure. Other than that, it is just a beautiful little Triceratops figure and a gorgeous Ceratopsian figure in general. I can't recommend this one enough, guys. It's beautiful. The pose is also really nice. It's super dynamic, and especially from this side, I just like the way it's sprawling its legs. It's bracing itself for impact. You can imagine, like, a T-Rex charging towards it or something. Really just an awesome figure. And it's sad because... For Mojo's 2020 range, I don't think they've retired this one, but they've introduced a new Triceratops that is just a million times worse than this one. It is just, uh, I'll have to put an image up on screen. I think it might just be a repaint of one of their older sculpts, but I don't understand why they had to introduce a new one after making this beautiful figure. This is the best Mojo figure I've seen. But anyway, guys, I think that pretty much sums up my thoughts on this one. Definitely recommend it. I'll put some links down below to where you can get one for yourself. This is a beautiful, underrated Ceratopsian figure, in my opinion. In case you're wondering how large this one is, it measures in at about 7.5 inches long, which is about 18 centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the frill, we are looking at about 3.5 inches. 
which is about 9 centimeters. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the recently reviewed Collecte Medusa Ceratops. If you want to see a review for this one, it's up on the channel. And yeah, it just feels so weird for me to say that I prefer a Mojo dinosaur over a Collecte dinosaur. But there you go. I like this Triceratops substantially more than this Medusa Ceratops. But anyway guys, that is going to do it for today's review of the Mojo 2019 Triceratops. Let me know what you think of this one down below. Let me know if you are going to pick it up sometime. Leave a like if you liked, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care, and bye bye